Today, we're gonna make Megamoji! Megamoji is a word I just made up that means a character made of a bunch of emoji glued together that move together. In this video, I'm gonna make a penguin, but you can follow along and make any type of Megamoji you want just using different emoji. The important part is that you learn the basic idea so that you can make any sort of creature you want. So, let's do it. So you're in your editor, so let's tap on the gray plus button to get our objects and let's drag out a text object. So I want to make a penguin, and the only part of the penguin I see in the emoji menu is the head. So I'm going to start with the head of the penguin, and you can start with any emoji you want, and then I'm going to press done, and then I'm going to add a new rule, and I want it to be a little bit bigger. So when the play button is tapped, which is when the project starts, let's grow the head by 300. So go to looks and sounds, and drag out a set size block and put in 300 right there. And let's see what that looks like. Cool, it's bigger. Let's go back to edit and now let's have it face the right side. So to flip it, we're gonna go to movement and pull out a flip block. Check that. Cool, okay. So now let's get the body. So with the penguin, I'm going to have the main torso be the black ball. So go to the objects menu and drag out another text object. And let's go to emoji again and scroll all the way to the right until you see this black orb if you're making a penguin with me. And press done. And let's add a new rule to it. Let's make it 300 as well. So when the play button is tapped, go down to looks and sounds and drag out set size and pick 300. And press play. Cool. Okay. So here's the important part. We want this head to be right around here, and when we move this object later, we want this to follow along. So let's do all that. So go back to your head object, and go back to the rule you made, and then let's drag out a repeat forever block, which is in control flow. So pull out repeat forever, and then go up to movement, the red tab, and drag in a set position block into the repeat forever. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the position of the head to be just above the body and we're going to set it there forever. So no matter where the body goes, the head will follow. So for the X coordinate, go to values and tap on this gray arrow next to the penguin head and then tap on it again until you find the body's values and pick body's X position. And then tap on the Y bubble and before we go to values, tap on the plus bubble right here, because this is actually going to be higher than the torso. So then go to values again, and you're already in the torso's values. Pick Y position for the black ball. And then in the second bubble where you see a 3, let's see what adding 50 looks like. And press play. Okay, so it's behind the torso, which is bad, and it's also not high enough. So let's go back to edit. And let's go down to looks and sounds and find bring to front. So let's drag a bring to front block above the repeat forever loop. And then, so actually let's take a look at what that looks like. Okay, so it's in front of the torso, that's great, but now we need to be higher. So go back to edit, and where you said 50 here, plus Y position, let's make it 75. Let's see what that looks like. Cool, and now it's still too far to the left because actually the center of the penguin is lined up with the center of the black ball, but we need to move it to the right a bit. So let's go back to edit, and then here, tap on this X bubble, and instead of X position, let's tap on the plus bubble. So now you should see this right here. So for the first bubble, we'll put in that X position. So go back to values, and you should be in the torso's value set, plug in the X position, and then tap inside the second bubble, and let's add, I don't know, 15. So we're moving it a little bit to the right. Press play. Cool, great. So the idea here is that you always want to like tinker with this and make sure it's exactly positioned where you want. If it's too far to the right, move it to the left a bit. If it's too far to the left, move it to the right a bit. So let's add some feet and fins. So go back to edit. And let's exit out of here by tapping outside of that rule. And then tap on the plus button again for your objects. And let's drag out another text object. And let's go to the emoji. And I'm going to pick this chickadee because I want those feet. 
So I'm going to press done here, and I'm going to add a new rule. When the play button is tapped, let's go down to looks and sounds, and let's make this 400% bigger. So go to set size and tap in 400. Okay, let's press play and see what that looks like. So it's big enough, but now we want it to be behind this so that its feet are poking out. Let's go to edit, and let's set position to that black ball. So go to movement, drag out a set position, go to values, and tap on the gray arrow until you find that black ball's values, and pick X position for the first bubble, and then Y position for the second bubble. This probably won't be correct. Let's see. Oh, actually, it's pretty perfect. So now we need to get it behind the black ball. So go to Edit, and go to Looks and Sounds, and find Send to Back, and drag that in front of this. And press Play. Cool, but let's go back to Edit. Remember, this needs to be in a repeat forever loop, because right now it's only setting it to this position once when the project starts, as denoted by this when, but we need it to happen forever. So go to Control Flow, pull out a repeat forever block, and drag the set position block inside the repeat forever. So you won't see a difference now, but it's important that we did that. Now let's make these, these little fins black. So go to Edit, and exit outside of here, and let's go to the plus button and drag out another text object. And let's go to the emoji menu. And go all the way to the end until you see the spade. And press done. And let's add a new rule. When the play button is tapped, go to movement. And let's angle it so that it's pointing to the left. It's currently pointing up. So that means we're going to have to go to set angle. So if up is zero, if we set it to 90, then it will point to the left. So tap in 90, and let's see if that's correct. Cool. Okay, now let's get it on top of this fin. So go to Edit. Have I been calling them fins? Are they wings? I'm not sure what they are. Are they hand? They're not hands, right? I don't know what they are, but whatever. Um, and let's go to Control Flow, drag out a repeat forever, then go to Set Position, drag that inside the repeat forever, and let's set position to the left of the black ball. Tap on the minus block, because subtracting x position moves it to the left. And then go to values, and tap on this gray arrow until you get to the black ball's values. Pick its x position, that's where it is, and then to the second bubble, let's subtract 25. And then to the y bubble, it, I'm not sure, but I think it might just be the Y position. So let's go to values and type in the black ball's Y position. Remember, the name of the game here is that you see what you've made and you adjust. So let's press play. Okay, so it's not far enough to the left, and it might need to be a little higher, and maybe even a little bigger. So let's go to edit. And let's... So further to the left, so minus 50 and then Y position, tap on the Y position and add a negative block, a minus block, then go to values and pick, I'm sorry, and in the Y position add a plus block, go to values, put in the Y position again, and then let's add, I don't know, 20? Let's see what that looks like. Okay, and let's make it bigger. So go to set size, Drag that in front of that and make it like 150. Let's see. Cool. Okay. So this is a little nitpicky, but I want this spade to be behind the black ball, but in front of the chickadee yellow base. So go to edit and let's send to back. But let's actually send it to back up here. So it's the first thing sent to back. And then let's go to the yellow chickadee and go into their rule, and maybe let's wait a second before we send this to back so it's really in the back. So drag out a wait block and wait 10 milliseconds because the last thing sent to back will be in the back. Cool, okay. Let's do that last spade. So add a new object, text object, go to the emoji menu, go all the way to the spade, type in a spade, press done. Now add a new rule. We're going to do the opposite of everything we did for the left hand, or for the right hand, actually. So when the play button is tapped, 
Go to looks and sounds, make it the same size as the last one. So set size to 150, then send it to back. Actually, let's send it back up here. And then let's go to control flow and repeat forever. Let's go to movement, drag in a set position block, and let's add a plus for the first bubble because we're going to make it to the right of the torso. So go to values and go to the black ball. Pick its X position and let's add, I think it was 50, right? It's 50 to the right because the other one was 50 to the left. And then for the Y bubble, pick plus and then we're going to add 20 to the torso's height. So go to values, get to the black ball, find its Y position, that's how high it is. And let's make this even higher, so add 20. Okay, and then lastly we have to turn it so it's pointing to the right. So go to movement, drag out a set angle block, put it before the repeat forever, and make it negative 90 degrees. Because at zero degrees it's pointing up, but if we turn it negative, that's clockwise, 90 degrees it'll point to the right. And let's see if it worked. Cool, and now you have a full penguin that we made out of emoji. So now let me show you the coolest part of all of this. And why were we putting all those repeat forevers everywhere? Here's the cool part. Let's go back to edit. Let's exit out of this and go to this black ball. This is your anchor body part. Everything else, its position is set relative to this anchor object. So now add a new rule to it. When the play button is tapped, go to control flow and pick repeat forever. Basically the point is, when you move this object, everything else will move with it. So I'm going to do tilt to show that example. So in repeat forever, go to movement and drag out a change x by block. And let's go to values, tap on the gray arrow to in the iPad's values and pick tilt right percent. And let's see what happens when I tilt the iPad. Whoa! The entire penguin moves when I tilt the iPad. So if I want to move this penguin in the beginning of the project, all I got to move is this black ball. So let's see what happens. Cool. Awesome. You just made your first mega emoji. So now see if you can apply this to new creatures. Remember the steps are glue your emoji together by setting position forever. It even rhymes. Isn't that cool? Then teach the anchor part to move and you're good. And remember you can move your emoji with controls or a joystick or tilting. Um, it's up to you. There are a lot of cool ways to make awesome games with cool new characters that you built. So show me the amazing, crazy characters you make, and I will see you next time. Bye.